Hello and welcome to my allotment journey. My name is Sarah and I'm so pleased that you clicked on this link to have a little bit of nosy about what I get up to at the allotment. I've had my allotment for two years but I never documented it apart from pictures. I took hundreds and hundreds of pictures but I never videoed it. But I'm two years in now and I want to show you my allotment because I'm going to make some big, big changes and you are going to help me. You're going to advise me because I'm a novice. A novice, novice at best, to be honest. But yes, um, please join me at the allotment. I've had an exciting delivery. My friend Vicky very kindly asked if I wanted her decking and her decking boards and her flags, her stone flags. And I said, I'd love them, but I said, I, just, I don't have the transport to get it here. I don't want Mick to carry it because he's poorly. She says, no, not a problem at all. She says, for you, I'll just drop it off at the allotment for you. So, there's not just that. Oh no, 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 no. I've logged up, as you can tell, I've logged up, probably red or purple faced. Whoops, sorry. And all those there. In the car. I've got one more load of those to bring back. And then I've got the stone flags. I can have a patio. I can have a patio where I sit because there's about 38, 38 stone flags. I can't believe it. It's going to take me forever to. I can't bring them all up in one day. I am not a machine. Yeah, I can't possibly do it in one day, but I'll do my best. I will put a notice on the, the allotment chat to say that they are down there and I will be bringing them up, but slow and steady. I might also say, if you feel like bringing one up on your way, <laughs> I won't stop you. Right, anyway, so let's go back down there, down the bottom of the hill, grab the rest of the decking boards and then I could maybe put three in the car. They're heavy, it's heavy going up this hill. Right, we'll, we'll see. Let's go down to the bottom. Let's go down there. Okay, right, I wasn't sure whether to give you a view of you going down the hill or a view of me working hard. Right, let's, let's turn it. Come on, we'll do both. You can see me and you can see the hill. Let's take this down. Typically, these last ones, these are the longest ones, and they end up being the hardest ones because I've had to put the flat down at the back of the trolley, but the slope is so steep that I think they're just all going to fall off. Oh my goodness me, so I've got to watch them. <sighs> way, getting way too old for this sort of thing oh my gosh right let's park up let's let's park up oh, okay oh. oh my gosh I'm probably a really lovely shade of purple right now there you go I know this hill doesn't look like it much but honestly it really really is that's the last bit of the wood now let's get that wood onto that pile Okay, it's only the fence that took me ages to make. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Right, okay. Okay, well at least I've done that. At least I have now um, got all the decking boards. Another big shout out to Vicky. A really good person, really kind, for to drop them off and give them to me in the first place. Right, did I, take you to did I show you the slabs? Let's go have a quick look at the slabs. Might bring one or two up, but then I need a rest. Actually, there's a lady just leaving, so I'll let her go out peacefully. Let her leave and then i should go down take you show the slabs a bit better um, i don't even think i showed you them did i think i just showed you the wood so what I could do is i could just start transferring that wood there because i don't want it there new i think for now put it here i don't know i can't see can't see where you are i don't even know somewhere there that where that drop is there we'll get the wood and we'll put it there let's do it Right, you know what carrying wood looks like. This is going to happen. That's going to go. That's going to be piled up over there. Whew, right, okay, last two. 
Oh my goodness me. Well, this is all done. They're all piled up nice and neat. More or less, nice and neat. There we go, let's go and have a look at the slabs. I might bring a couple back, but that's probably all, because I need a rest, I need to sit down. I can hear people in the woods. Right, I need a rest and sit down, so let's go down here and have a look at the slabs. Right, here we go, I think the cream and red slabs. They go not too thick, but um, I don't know whether it's gonna be easier just to carry one at a time or put two in the trolley. This trolley actually can be quite heavy to pull, though it's great on flat ground, really can shift some stuff. The trolley seems to be super extra heavy <laughs> when you're going up a slope. Heavier than if you were just carrying it, if you understand what I'm saying, in your hands. Um, so, I don't know, but here we go. We'll get a couple of those into there. Right, I think I might try four. Let's try four. Because I reckon there's about 38 here. I'll do my best with four, but I think that might just be a little bit too heavy. I just don't know. Right, let's give it a try, shall we? Right, so on the flat ground, not so bad. Slight incline, not so bad. Right, it's heavy, but it's not so bad. <sighs> When I attached it to the trolley, I saw it wobbling the camera and I thought, oh, that's going to make your teeth rattle watching that. So I think I'm going to have to put this camera away because this is going to be a little bit torturous and I don't want to, don't want for you to see me doing this torturous job. Oh my goodness me. Oh, I'm having a halfway rest. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, I need to sit down. I need to sit down. I need staff. I need help. Oh my goodness me, right, right well, no, give yourself a proper rest. Don't just stand still for two seconds, proper rest, right. Hmm. Get my heart rate down a little bit. Right, now let's go. <laughs> oh. oh God, I'm too old, I'm too old for this. I really am. Oh. It wouldn't even help if I pulled it with two hands, <laughs> to be fair. That wouldn't even help. Oh Lord, this, is this last bit. Oh God. Oh. We're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. Watch it now. Go plummeting. Just rest it there. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Just go plummeting. Can you imagine? If it went plummeting down the hill, I'd cry. Right, let's let's get it up here. Get down there. Okay. Okay, come on, trusty trolley. Come on, trusty trolley. There we go. Oh, oh. oh God, I feel like a hero. <laughs> Very tired one. Very exhausted one, but a hero nonetheless. Right, I'll take those off now. I'm so glad that my microphone wasn't on then and the camera because that <laughs> started rolling backwards. Yes, so my words were a little bit choice as I chased after it, put my foot on the, on the thing here. Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, it started rolling backwards and uh, I'm just so glad you weren't there to see it. Right, come on, let's get them off loaded quick before havoc breaks loose. Ooh, now for a proper rest with a biscuit and a sit down. I actually made a little bit of an error with the bed behind me, the wild flower bed, right? I put fleece on it thinking that it was, would warm the soil up, which it's supposed to do when it's cold so you can plant your seeds. Unfortunately, because I don't know what I'm doing, um, all the weeds started to go underneath it because it was a lovely, cosy environment for them. So I've took the fleece off um, because I could, I could just see all the weeds growing up underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that um, before I'm not carrying any more slabs up today, I just can't. Maybe later, but just not now. Um, but I've got a brand new kneeling board thing that helps. That has like a thing that you, it's like an old old person's kneeling board. It's absolutely fabulous. That Gail 
B brought, bought me and uh, it's fabulous. I'll show you that in a bit. But yeah, I made a bit of a mistake. I put fleece on thinking, oh yeah, we did it. It's great, it's great, it's great. You all told me about that cooch grass. I think that's how you say it. Cooch grass, get every little last bit out where it grows. Let me tell you, it grows. Underneath a fleece, lovely and cosy. Lovely and sturdy now, the grass under there. So I'm going to have to... Um, redo that bed but it doesn't matter you know it shouldn't take any time at all and then I really just keep on top of it over the next couple of weeks because I'm gonna I've been reading now it says don't really plant your seeds until don't sow your seeds sorry use the correct terminology so as to be professional don't sow your seeds until May until every last chance of frost has gone so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to drink my water I'm going to eat my biscuits and then I'm going to set to tackling the weeds that I've created a lovely atmosphere fear for on there right so first of all have a look at my new super woofer kneeling pad off gale isn't that amazing you can also have turn it the other way around and have it as a seat to sit on say like if you was painting i don't know painting a fence or something like that anyway what's good about it is you just think oh it's a kneeling pad what, what can be great about it because i've got a little bit of hip trouble Bicitis, hip bicitis. Um, it's got little. I've got little midges all over my face today. So as if it wasn't bad enough, all the other times my hair. Now there's these tiny little midgy things that keep landing on me, right, and getting on my nerves. Right, so that's an irritation. Um, but yeah, so I can push myself up like a proper old lady on the handles of here. Right, but also what it is because your knees. Let me show you. See if I can show you. Aren't directly on the floor, so your feet have room to hang behind you without sort of being pushed flat if you understand what I mean your feet aren't like made to sort of go flat they, they can go sort of like that it's difficult to explain but it's just a just a bit more comfortable don't get me wrong kneeling pads are still great I still use them but this one a little bit of a game changer I'm enjoying it right gotta weed it because I created that horrible environment didn't I that was perfect for regrowing all the weeds that I took out originally told also um of after one of my videos of weeding not to put this in the compost but to burn it so i have got a chimney um so i'm gonna put it all in there dry it out in it and then i'm, I'm gonna burn it why not that's what they say to do but i'm just basically just sieving out everything i can I'll, I'll keep going over it then if i see bits of roots i'll just pick them out just to give myself a, oops, a fighting chance for when I, I, I uh, do the seeds in a couple of weeks. Because although you see this in probably May, possibly later, I don't know, um, I have filmed it well in advance. I have filmed it well in advance. So it's now actually the end of April that I'm filming this. So another week and a half and I should be able to put the seeds in here. But I've really got to get this stuff out, this grass. Slight dilemma in that my seeds, some of my seeds from the wild... Um, flowers from last year are coming up so I'm gonna to have to weed carefully around them not this because I think that's that stuff that just takes over but these things here oops sorry these things here I think there are something and I think these might be a something too these here I'm not sure I'm not sure I reserve judgment on them but I think they are so I'm gonna to have to leave those and just get the, the grass out there seems to be a lot a lot there but yeah, because this I just left all this to self-seed really and just, you know, I put a lot of the soil, well, all the soil back on here, these beds. So mm, I'll do my best with the grass, but I'm going to leave the stuff that I think is the seeds, the flower seeds. Right, okay, that's all I can do. I didn't even realise it, but it's been raining. It's, it's such a fine rain that I never really even noticed, but I'm absolutely soaked. <laughs> I'm soaked. I've done it right. I've... I've done it. There's a few things that look like flowers, actually. The, the wildflowers from last year, so I have left those. I've got everything that looks like um, grass and grass um, root, okay? So I've done my best. All I can do with this now is just keep an eye on it with, over the next week and a half. Get the grass as I see it before I plant the seeds. Because once those seeds are planted, I'm touching nothing on here, okay? I'm touching absolutely nothing on here once those seeds are planted. So they're going to have to fend for themselves. 
but yeah another job done another one that i needed to do that one's not looking too bad i might give it a bit of a scrape before i seed it um no that one's that one's um sunflowers isn't it i'll, I'll reserve judgment on that whether i'm going to plant some more sunflower seeds just in case the other ones didn't self-seed right i have got some so i might as well plant those at some point right we need a frivolous job but you know what, I think I'm going to come back tomorrow and do a frivolous job when it's not raining. Because I believe tomorrow is going to be a dry day. Let's see. Let's see in an instant. Is it going to be a dry day or not? Right, and here I am. <laughs> a different day. <laughs> back on a different day. I've just done a few little um, trips up the slope to get the slabs. Not all of them. There's another five trips left, but I think I've done four. And that's just about killed me. So what I'm going to do now is i'm going to paint the fence i'm going to do a lovely little frivolous job it's been dry for a couple of days well you know a day and a half so i'm going to give the fence a little lick of paint there is quite a few people out here today so it might be a little bit noisy so you might just see me doing a little bit of painting rather than jabbering away oh on a little side note one of my kofi gifts here look at that boot scraper isn't that amazing right you need to screen down onto a slab but I haven't got the capabilities of that yet and I haven't laid my patio and that won't be laid for quite a while. So what I'm going to do, so hopefully it doesn't move, I'm going to peg it. I'm going to use some pegs to peg it into the ground because it does have the holes where you would screw it into a slab. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to peg it in so that I can clean my boots. Always getting sidetracked, never doing the job that I'm supposed to be doing. I don't. That's allotments for you. You just think you're going to do one thing, then something else catches your eye. And there you go but yeah that is a gift a Kofi gift that a lovely boot scraper okay I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear a little bit of a spot down there out the way um oh, should, I'm wondering should I put a, no I'm not putting a slab down now I'll save that for when I'm actually um laying the um the patio bit I'll save that for then for now I'm just going to peg it in and I'm just going to get that bit a little bit cleaner a little bit mud free Okay, I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to put it down here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pegs in, see how sturdy that is. I've got it butted up against this bit here so that when you're pushing your foot, it's not going to go any further. I might also put a peg down this side, you know, on this, this side also to stop it moving. Just because it's not screwed in, it's only going to be pegged in with these things. Right, let's see how we go. Okay, let's see how that works. So there we go, pegged in, just four pegs. You know what, not bad, but I think I'm just gonna hammer a thing in there just to stop it coming this way. That stops it going that way. But I don't think those pegs are particularly gonna hold it for a long time because it's a really good tight fit with the boots for cleaning them, okay? Yeah, so I'm gonna hammer in another peg here, another stake here. Maybe even one in that corner. Just want to make it sturdy for while um, waiting for the slabs to go down, which will be months. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's probably going to be quite a few months before I get the slabs down here. But yeah, I've got plenty of stakes, so why not just hammer a few more in? There you go. It's in, and I'm confident that that will clean my boots nicely. Okay, now time for the frivolous job which I said I was going to do, which is to paint my fence. There we go, the usual lovely bright grey paint. Okay, you get the gist, I'm painting a fence. I'll bring you back when I've done this fence. That's the first little bit of fence done and that's took eight, absolutely ages. The sun is going down. There's not much sunlight left now. I don't know what time it is. Half seven, I, don't, I really don't know. It's, it's quite late, it's quite late, but there you go. That's the first fence done. And honestly, it's took, it's took a while. There we go, painted. Front and back, no skimping here. There you go, what do you think? Do you think it looks better? I think it does. I'll do that one another time another frivolous job to do but for now there you go that's that one finished 
Okay, while well, I've got the paint out, I'm going to paint these posts from the herb garden. There you go, that's better. I'll just paint around the back. Same with this one. Just paint it so it matches, it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. There you go, much better. That reminds me actually, I'm going to have to water these. Sorry, water these herbs because they dry out quite quickly on here. I forgot about that, that they'd, um, they'd dry out quite quickly. The strulch just keeps some of the moisture in, sorry, learn how to speak. But um, yeah, I'm just going to give that just a little bit of water with the watering can. Oh, one last frivolous job. Okay, also I'm going to say, definitely, absolutely, having thought about it, the fleece, forget it, right? The fleece just harbours all the weeds and things like that. So. I'm just going to uh, weed membrane it like quite a few of you suggested over winter, forget the fleece and do my direct planting in May. So yeah, absolutely. Just that the, it was, a, it was a mistake, the fleece. So don't put a fleece on. It didn't, didn't work for me. It might work for you. It absolutely did not work for me. I've just got to weed the beds yet again before I plant the seeds. So I'm going to say a little bit of a disaster with the fleece, but one last frivolous job before I go is I'm going to do this step. It's done. I have now finished painting the step and um, as me and my friend Emma call it, we're going to name this step Pet Cemetery because it, just, it looks like a grave and it's only a little one so we're going to say, we're going to nickname it, I'm going to just sign for it and everything because that's what I'm like. We called it Pet Cemetery. so this step is now named Pet Cemetery. There you go. Oh just a little quickie, I am um, all this Couch grass couch, I don't know what you call it, couch or couch, I've no idea. But anyway, I was told to stick it in a bucket of water and leave it till winter. Then it'll all rot down. You can, don't touch the water though, because it'll go stinky, right? But put, put it all in the, a, bucket, a big bucket of water, leave it, that'll rot down to a mush. You can stick that on your compost at the end of the year. And the water you can put on your garden, on your, on your soil in the winter, add nourishment or something, but it stinks, right? It stinks. So I think I'm going to do that, I'll get a big massive tub of some sort and do that with it. I don't know if I've shown you these, but just in case I haven't, I've got three plants. This lovely pink one, it's a Hebe. This is a Hebe Magic Summer and these two are a Hebe Heartbreakers. I've got three of them. I might have shown them before, I don't know. I haven't figured out where they're going to go. Um, that's the job for another day. And I'm going to say that's the end of it today. But thank you so much for watching. We've got a few little bits done, haven't we? We're nearly there. We're nearly there at the proper. We're nearly at May. Okay, you might see this in May now, but I'm not in May right now. So um, please press the like if you haven't pressed it already. And please um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because it makes me really, really happy every time I see the subscribe account go up. Thank you so much. And comments. I love your comments. I take lots of it on board. I really, really do. Um, you've given me loads of hints and tips and and you've all all asked what's the fleece for what's the idea behind the fleece forget the fleece okay that was a great big mistake the fleece don't bother i'm going to take it off there i'm going to take it off there i'm going to weed everything just going to keep an eye on it for two weeks and that's it you'll see me next week thank you so much for watching bye